Hello everybody, my name is Alavar and welcome back to The Walking Dead Telltale Series Michonne. Now we are going to continue episode 2. We are flying through this game, but I am very, very much enjoying it. Um, it's just as good as the other Walking Dead Telltale Series. I know this is not as long, um, so we'll probably complete this relatively soon. Uh, and then jump on some other games that we've got. We've still got Outlast 2 that we're currently uh, bish bashing through as well, but I mostly do that on Twitch TV. But, you know, there's loads of games for us to play. I've got uh, tons of games on my Steam list. And we've still got the final season of The Walking Dead to do as well. That's as it stands right now. We've got The Walking Dead Tata Series of Mission. Ah. It's just like England weather. Absolute shit. Do you have children? A son? I do. Two little girls. Touchy subject. <sighs> it snowed the day my wife died. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. Better than getting eaten alive, I suppose. I buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow... It covered her grave. We raced it. Like she'd never been there at all. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids. But the past... It always seems to find you. Yeah, it does, so I keep seeing those creepy little fucking children. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from home. But we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's... Dead. I could really use your help. Oh. Your friend Pete told me all about Norma. About what happened. If she finds us, we wouldn't stand a chance. But you seem like someone who can hold their own. Sam said you could help me. If you do that, I'll give you guys a hand. Anything. Whatever you need. Alright. Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg never turned into one of these things, did he? Are those... Whatever they are. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, he did. My boy. I'm just gonna be honest. Let him leave. <laughs> you might want to shut the gate, mate. I. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. Yeah, yeah, shut the gate. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? Yeah, don't, don't talk about my kids. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Be sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, and that's why you should have shut the fucking gate. Peekaboo. Oh, fuck me. I knew, I knew that was going to happen. Fuck me. I'll take the one near the fountain. Where are you? You're about to find out, sunshine. Oh!
Peekaboo, motherfucker. Oh, damn. See ya. Yes, Pete. Yeah, brilliant. Um, ignore that. I, I thought I, I wanted to let him bleed out. I didn't really. I didn't want to waste any ammo, but I, I guess I have to shoot him. I didn't notice he had the revolver. I've done quite a lot on this fucking Telltale series. Way more than the others, I think. Maybe I'm a bit rusty. Fuck. Oh, asshole. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh. He's kicking, he's kicking all of our, oh, I was going to say he's kicking all of our asses, but that was a good shot with the old shovel. Oh, yes. Ah. Oh, yes. Let's kill him then. Lock him in. Woo. Fucking yes. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You all right? Not dead yet. Uh, uh, you? <sighs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> I can't wait to kill this guy. I'm not, he's not living, I'll tell you that much. If I get a choice in the matter, he's dying. Oh shit. You must be pretty proud of yourself, huh? Cut yourself a golden goose. If you think I'm shitting any eggs, forget it. Oh fuck. Jesus! Whoa! You don't mess around. <laughs> I like that. How'd you find the house? You know, I probably never would have. Except you left a trail of walker parts right to the front gate. Ah, uh, fuck like yeah. some fucked up fairy tale. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Talk to her, Michelle. Don't make the same mistake You heard her. Randall needs to check in. You know, this feels mighty familiar. Except you're there, and I'm here. So, Miss Shum, what do you want me to say to her? On account of me hoping to avoid more broken fingers, your wish is my command. Like she said, check in. Let her know you're fine. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'll play nice. Good boy.
Hey, Norma. Randall, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. I thought something had happened. Where the hell have you been? With Michonne. She's not the best host, if you can believe that. Killed two of our own. Got me hostage in a house. Southwest of the tower. Little slow, Michonne. Little slow. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Can't believe you let me keep talking. Almost got my whole life story out. Can I just kill him already? Michonne? Pick up the radio. Now. <laughs> oh, shit. Norma storming now. Go on. Throw some words at her. I'm not fucking around here, kid. Let's talk through this, Norma. We can figure it out. You ought to kill several of my people, so we're not starting off on a good foot. I only want to know one thing. Did you hurt him? Yeah. If you so much as breathed on my brother, I'll find you and make what happened on the ferry look like a goddamn picnic! Know any good surgeons? I want to look into that. Woo! This little game you're playing, I don't fucking like it. We'll be there soon. You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. Can I kill him yet? That all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. And last but not least, those kitties too. I saw their little heads in the window. Go on, give me the choice. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt. <laughs> Guess I hit a button. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. What? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. <laughs> Can I, let, Sean, let me just end him. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> Please tell me he's fucking with us. Randall murdered your dad, Sam. No! <laughs> He's, he will be. Question asked all night. Shone's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. He keeps opening his mouth. He'll be dead soon. We should do it right fucking now. Yeah, I'll, I'll let her. All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. You need to kill him, or I will. No, I will. Sam, wait. No matter what I say, you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway. Yeah. I know you've already made up your mind. Uh, yep. Yes, I have. Well, <laughs> I ain't I had the bell of the ball. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing me. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Yep. Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You're right about that. Feels good to get that out in the open, don't it? 
Well, maybe. Maybe you think you can rise above all that. No, 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 no. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. Then you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. If you got a point, get to it already. On my way, darling. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. <gasps> or dying in, or are in that walking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about that. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't. We all have our demons, honey. Made up my mind. Oh, yes! Let's go. Fucking yes. Have that, you bastard. Love that. Woo! That's what we're talking about. Fucking love. I, I did say I already made up my mind. And if I got the choice, he was having it. A million percento. Next time. Alright. So, let's see what we're going to be uh, facing with next time. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. I think we've only got one episode left. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean. Nasty. You want to believe all lives and all deaths have purpose. Believe me, they don't. It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down. Oh, yeah. Your choices. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. We have finished episode two. I think we've got one more left. Um, I did say I was going to kill Randall, uh, and I stuck true to my word, as I am a man of my word. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.